One of the most underrated homeowner tasks and also an easy one is flushing out your water heater. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with just a few easy steps. The main reason why you want to flush your water heater is to prevent the buildup of sediments. You see over time, small particles will tend to cake up at the bottom of the water heater itself. Much like a shower drain, over time the shower drain will develop soap scum and that can clog up the drain itself. The same thing happens with a water heater. Those sediments will build up and then that will prevent the water heater from heating effectively and reducing its lifespan. In part one of this video, I'm going to get in detail on all the major pieces you need to know in order to flush your water heater. I'm going to start from the top and work my way down to the bottom. Starting from the top, you're going to notice three pipes coming out of your water heater. The big one in the middle is your vent. You don't have to worry about that. You're going to notice two small pipes to the left and to the right of the vent. The one that's red is your hot and the one that's cold is your cold. Also, there's lettering that's marked that tells you this is the hot pipe. And then there's lettering on the blue one that's listed as cold and that's your cold pipe. But you can't just rely on that. I know people who don't know their left from their right. So one of the best ways to tell which one is your cold and which one is your hot pipe is to actually feel it. Take a feel. If you have insulation on the pipes, you're going to remove the insulation or just go around it and just feel it. I can feel this pipe is hot and I know by default this is a hot pipe. And if you feel the other pipe, it's cold. I know it's cold. On top of that, the cold pipe has a shut off valve attached to it. This is the pipe that you would shut off when you're ready to flush your water heater. Now that you've identified the hot and the cold, what you need to know is your shut off valve. You need to know where your shut off valve is. This one on the cold water pipe is your shut off valve for the cold water supplying the water heater. So you want to turn this off when you're ready to flush. Another way to flush is to use your main. You, you can turn your main and shut off your main in order to flush your water heater. Whatever you choose is entirely up to you, but if you shut off the main, you're going to shut off water throughout the whole house. This next valve on the top side of your tank is your pop-off relief valve. The main purpose of this valve is to relieve pressure inside your tank. If the pressure builds up to a certain point, instead of your tank exploding, it's going to release the pressure into this pipe. So the main purpose of this pipe is to relieve pressure from your tank. During the flush, you're going to lift this valve right here and keep it in the lock position in order to relieve pressure. We'll get in more in detail with this. This next one is your control box. This is what regulates the temperature inside your tank. So you set it to whatever temperature you like that you're more comfortable with. But when you're servicing your tank, you normally want to turn this to the vacation mode or turn it to the pilot mode, which means keeping your pilot light on. Normally when I'm working on my tank, I turn this off completely, more of a safety factor for me. But when you turn it off, you need to turn off the gas main also. Two ways to go about this. You either put it on pilot mode or turn it off completely and turn off the gas. Whichever way you choose is totally up to you, but I recommend you turn it off completely. But remember, if you turn it off, you need to shut off the gas main also. This next one is your drain valve. Nothing to it. All you do is hook up your hose to this, turn the knob in order to allow the tank to drain. I recommend you use a hot water hose. I'll get more in detail with this with part two of this video. Now I realize everyone's pipe layout and the type of water heater you have is going to be completely different. So if you're not sure about this, what you can do is actually hire a professional plumber and let them come out and show you one time where all the pipes and valves are. Yes, you're going to pay a fee for this, but sometimes it might be worth it, especially if you have a confusing layout. The first step is to shut off the cold water supply leading to the heater itself. But in my case, I'm shutting down the whole water main itself. The next step is to shut off the heating control box on the bottom. The heating control is down on the bottom of the water heater. I turn mine all the way to off. And you can see over time the flashing light will slowly blink off. While the heating control unit is powering down, at the same time, I'm going to shut the gas off. 
you could locate the gas main which is very close to the water heater and as you can see here the light is slowly dimming and when it's completely out you know the pilot light is out and you can get to work the next step is to hook up a water hose directly to the water heater now here's the caveat while you probably could use a regular cold water hose I wouldn't really recommend it just because the temperatures coming out of this water heater is going to be about 140 degrees this is the one item I recommend you buy it is specifically made to tolerate temperatures up to about 200 degrees it is a hot water hose I'll be sure to link it in the description once your hose is hooked up to the water heater you want to stretch the hose out to where you can dump the water out for me I'm kinda lucky I have a driveway I can extend it all the way to the end of the driveway and just let it drain next you want to go inside and find the water source closest to the heater and turn on the hot water this will relieve the pressure and allow the water to drain from the water heater much more faster imagine you're poking a hole at the bottom of a soda can the soda itself is not going to drain that fast but if you poke the hole and then you open the top it is going to drain much more faster well the same example applies to the water heater for this particular water heater I'm taking a flathead screwdriver and I'm giving this knob a quarter turn in order to allow the water to flush out after about two minutes I want to go back to my water heater and open this pressure relief valve the whole point of this valve is to relieve tank pressures and to prevent your tank from exploding my relief pressure valve is vented outside but for some people this may not be the case which is why I recommend you wait about one to two minutes after you start the initial flush before you open the valve by opening the valve you're gonna allow even more air to get into the tank which will flush the water heater out much more faster all you have to do is just flip the valve completely straight up until it locks in place in total it took about 15 minutes for me to completely flush the water heater this next step is important you want to open the cold water main for a few seconds and then turn it back off a lot of water to drain turn it on you're going to repeat this process two or three times doing this will allow the water to rush down towards the bottom of the water heater washing away any sediments that may be remaining once you're done you turn off the drain valve disconnect the hot water hose from the water heater go back and turn on the cold water main and listen to the sound of the water filling up the tank when it's about three-fourths of the way full you can hear it the water will start to slow down this is when you want to turn off the pop-off relief valve allow the inside hot water tap to run for about three to five minutes in order to flush out any air that may be in the pipes after that you just simply turn it off once the tank is completely filled you want to follow the directions listed on the tank on how to restart the water heater mine is currently off but the directions ask to put the dial on pilot and then while holding in the dial you want to push in the black button right underneath my dial in order to restart it now remember everybody's water heater is different there's different directions on how to restart it but it should be listed right on the heater itself you just look under lighting instructions and follow the directions to the T the next step is to turn on the gas leading to the water heater once the gas is on I'm going to turn the knob to pilot and once the knob is on pilot I'm going to push in the knob at the same time I'm going to push and release the black igniter button I'm going to do this a few times it's going to take a few tries in order to get the fire to ignite the pilot light will start blinking once you're successful in the ignition sequence after that you turn the dial from pilot and set it to whatever temperature you normally keep it at you should hear the hot water heater kick in and once it fires up you're done hope you found this video useful be sure to subscribe for more future videos thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later